Hi, my name is Heather Rowe. I was diagnosed with stage 3B invasive lobular carcinoma, uh, estrogen positive, HER2 negative, um, right around my 40th birthday. Um, I went through 20 weeks of chemotherapy. I had a bilateral mastectomy with uh, some lymph nodes removed, and then I went through five weeks of radiation. And just recently, I had um, reconstruction surgery. As of February 2022, this year, I have been cancer free. Um, yeah, yay. The hardest part for me of all of this has been not really being able to connect with my friends and family and for them to not be able to understand what I was going through. Um, knowing that there's a group of brave, strong women who have been through this before me that I can lean on if I need to has been a huge saving grace for me. My name is Jamie Lascala and I was diagnosed at age 40. With stage three inflammatory breast cancer, I had chemo, surgery, and radiation. Delaware Breast Cancer Coalition has been with me since the beginning. Um, I was matched with a peer mentor who had had the same type of breast cancer, and that was so comforting to be able to speak to somebody who had been through what I was about to go through. Breast cancer has really taught me to use my voice, um, both in my own care and then as an advocate and now a peer mentor myself. Thanks so much for your support. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Townsend. I was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma stage 1A in 2021 at the age of 35. I received the treatment of a lumpectomy followed by four weeks of radiation. I was more recently diagnosed with a local recurrence of ductal carcinoma in situ or DCIS in the same breast. My favorite event through the Young Survivors in Action program has been the Active Cooking series. I've learned healthy and delicious recipes through the cooking classes. I've also been able to expand my cooking skills and eat at home more, which has been very important to me. In addition, the series has a registered nutrition that joins the classes every week and offers tips and tricks that are very valuable. I can't wait for the series to start up again. Being diagnosed with breast cancer has taught me to live every day to the fullest, one day at a time, being the best version of myself. Life is so short, so I've been doing what makes me most happy and not sweating the small stuff. Hey everyone, my name is Dee Iraka. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist and a professionally trained chef. I'm also the owner and founder of a small company called Eat Well Chef, where I do uh, healthy cooking classes and a variety of other things around healthy cooking. I have had the great pleasure over the past year and a half to be a facilitator working with Amanda Perdue on a uh, program called Active Cooking Series. The group gets together to inspire each other to focus on our own health. Um, so again, it's it's open to any breast cancer survivors. Um, and I, I am one of those people. And I think um, this program is phenomenal. Uh, so if you want any information about it, you can definitely contact Amanda. Thanks so much. Be well. Hello, my name is Nicole Davis. I was diagnosed at age 40 with triple negative stage two breast cancer. I had chemotherapy, a lumpectomy and radiation. The active cooking series also helped me by losing weight and receiving cookbooks to show different healthy alternatives. I've lost 20 pounds so far. Breast cancer has taught me to be strong. I never considered myself a strong person until I faced breast cancer. Now I can finally say, I'm strong, I can do this, whatever the task is that is in front of me. Hi, my name is Amanda Collins. Um, I am 47 years old and I was actually 44 when I was diagnosed. Um, I had been diagnosed with stage 1b the program really helped me to meet new people who had been diagnosed as well and also survive this disease so i felt a little less lonely um, i had people that i could confide in that i knew would help me understand Hi, my name is Taylor Urban. I was diagnosed with stage one DCIS breast cancer when I was 45 years old. I underwent a bilateral mastectomy with reconstruction. Uh, my cancer was identified in a routine mammogram and I had no symptoms or family history. 
What has breast cancer taught me? Um, that's a tough one, honestly. Um, I think I'm still learning, you know, I, I think breast cancer slows you down. Um, you think that you're young and you're healthy and you know, these things don't happen, but they do. And um, for me, it really forced me to look at, am I doing the things that are the most important for me in my life? Is this the legacy that I want to leave? And, and that's a heavy thing to think about. Um, but the flip side of it is that it's helped me reconnect with a lot of things that bring me joy and things that interest me. And um, it's just kind of helped realign me a little bit. So I, I think, you know, breast cancer has taught me to just appreciate and, and value my time now.